Hello, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Absurdities here. Uh, I tried to pass a little bit of time again just to see about fixing up the waterfall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 3x3 three three area, all graded. And uh, so I've started digging out that area all the way down, except for our couple main floors. We're going to remove those fortifications I built. And then we're going to, up at the top here, F1, down one. We're going to only let one tile in, which means we should have shallower water falling down uh, down the waterfall and hopefully not screwing up anyone's orders. Maybe it'll happen once in a while. That shouldn't be that big of a problem, though. Uh, one thing I guess I want to change here immediately looking at this. I'm going to take these doors out. I'm going to remove those walls again. And we're going to go for an even more compact area here. Maybe we'll dig these out more. Uh, I want to I want to make sure that water can get around just to just to let it spread out as much as possible. So that we have uh, a light misting falling down as opposed to something that's going to crush a dwarf against a grate. That's what, really, you think about it, if you had, I don't know, a few hundred liters of water crashing down 30 stories onto your head, that would be very uncomfortable to say the least. So, this tune reminds me so much of RimWorld. Like, <laughs> so much. Anyways, I think in the future we're going to add a Crusader Kings 3 playthrough to the channel uh, whenever I can find the time to do so. Midweek right now, I have, I have very busy Thursdays, so um, I try and record ahead so I don't have to rely on uh, time on Thursday to record. Because I'm trying to get a video out a day for each series. So before I add a new one, I want to make sure I have that time to commit. Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. And then... I guess we'll dig out some more here. How is this going to work? I should have... Yeah, we're going to remove that lever. Uh, also, Autumn has, has struck. Please, come remove that. Anybody? Anybody want a peanut? Anybody want to remove lever? Thank you. Maybe. Maybe they are. No, they're building the walls. Well, oh yes, and we're making iron bolts. Iron crossbows have been completed. As well, um, we have been making steel. And included in our orders is, well, they, we're making a lot of steel or uh, silk stuff. Forge steel armor set, right? So um, don't worry, that's a balanced mod. It's not uh, It's not giving us a whole set for, for one ingot or anything like that. Um, it just saves making a whole bunch of different orders. So that's good. We'll be able to get a melee squad on the go here. I'm not... I'm not too worried about armor on on our current squad because they're meant to be crossbow people. Archers, if you will. Seriously? No one's going to remove that yet? Uh, a caravan has arrived. Excellent. Excellent. And I believe it's this year. We're going to sell, sell them lots of prepared meals. That's the plan. Let's make sure this is all open for them. Yes. Going back in time, I probably would have made this pathway down to the fort, to the grand, so-called grand entrance. One, I would have made the grand entrance more grand, and two, yeah, I would have made the path shorter, so it's actually something that's used for more than just the occasional trader. But it's, it's fine. I guess we're going to want to move goods. So, let's get rid of... non-iron... Maybe we'll keep the copper ones. We'll 
we'll keep copper bolts. Copper arrows? No. We want to get rid of all bows, to be honest. Weapon racks. Tools, thrones, thread, table stone, splints, querns. Prepared meals. Yes. Legwear. Yeah, all the stuff that's worn out, we want that to go away. Handwear. Footwear. Cut gems. Coffins, cloth, cages, cabinets. Buckets, boxes, body parts. Oh my. Bins. We want... Uh, sure, we'll we'll send that ammo bin. Finished goods bin. That's got stuff that's mandated not to sell. Probably not the finished goods bin I want, but gem bin. We'll take it up there. We don't have to trade it. We just I think we can't trade um, splints or crutches. And if there's a clothing bin, finished goods, finished goods, finished goods, finished goods, ammo, weapon bin, we'll take that, leather, bar block, cloth, didn't see clothing, I don't think, there's Cloth. I'll, I'll put the cloth bin just to see if clothing is included in that. I don't think it is, though. Yeah, it would. It will be cloth. So never mind. Don't move that. A lot of cloth, apparently, we have. Yeah, arrows be gone. And we had the weapon bin, so I guess that's it. Start moving that stuff, folks. 48 items. We're going to be able to clean them out. We are dying cloth. That's excellent. Probably why the cloth bin was worth so much. So, in these places, we're going to put some grates. Mm, or grate. I'm only doing them every so often for now. to stop dwarves from falling on their head and then let the other instructions kind of catch up. Now we can then tell those two to disappear. Ah, uh, yes. We don't want our animals falling down the holes, so let's adjust this. Just keep them out of that range. Diplomacy! Let's discuss your situation. Oh, Thob Menguz, merit deserves a reward, and I come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. Can you imagine the trade wagons? Of course, there are responsibilities, and the nobility must live well. Do you have anyone suitable to recommend for elevation? I can scarcely believe this good news. I have some recommendations, or flattering, but we'd rather maintain our distance from the homeland. No, we're flattered. We'll, we'll do it. Uh, who, then, is going to be nobility? Um, maybe the chief medical dwarf? Uh, I don't know about that. 
Uh, give me a moment to uh, consider this. Okay, I have had a look, and Rith is our bookkeeper slash... Who is it here? Rith Angatir, manager, bookkeeper. I think, um, I think they would be a good choice. Let's see if we can find them in this list. Maybe somewhere. Rith, manager. Okay, you are personality, a great sense of empathy, great deal of patience, and the ability to focus. Doesn't generally think before acting. He would never pass up chance for a good fist fight. He's easily moved to mercy. Likes to take it easy. Quick to form negative views about things. Less extreme after having to conduct an official meeting in a dining room in 151. Oh, interesting. Tends not to reveal personal information. Grateful when others help him out and tries to return favors. Tends to make a small mess with his own possessions. Stiffens up when he's surprised. Needs alcohol to get through the working day, just like any dwarf. Likes working at doors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. He doesn't really care about anything anymore. Huh. I think Rith is fine. I don't think we need to get uh, overthinky on that. Rith Angatir, manager. And then they say, the world is the same as ever. Okay. What do we want? What do we want out of them? Nothing much. Honestly, I feel like we are pretty set, but let's throw on instruments for fun. Yeah, we have horns and crumb horns, right? Okay. Maybe cheese. We're not really making any cheese. And we have really... All the vegetables and stuff we we have, we need, or th that we need, we have. Wow. Bring us, um, where's, where's the, uh, where's the creature that we liked? I don't know. Bring us some horse and cow leather backpacks. Some silk, cave spider silk ropes. Thread, bags, and silk cloth, plant cloth, sure, done. Blah, 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 they're going to charge us more for that stuff. And they want large gems. Okay, so we don't really have to do anything differently other than keep mining gems. How are we doing here? Everything is there. Broker requested, please. Here's that they have unloaded. We can trade. Let's go through here and get rid of some of the old unworn clothing. By unworn, I mean we're not wearing it, of course. It is it is very worn in condition. Okay, lots of bolts here. Arrow, arrow. Arrow. We're getting rid of all the arrows. Because I would like us to be all crossbow all the time. Iron colossal arrows. Copper arrows. Bismuth bronze crossbow I think we'll get rid of. We'll keep the iron and the steel. Bronze. That one's busted. The bows. Whip. Leechy wood crossbow. I, I don't know if they're any better or worse. We just have a lot of wooden crossbows. Maybe we'll keep that one because it's particularly good. But otherwise, we'll get rid of wooden crossbows. We'll try and stick with iron or better. Steel warhammer kicking around. And jabber leather trousers. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. There's our bin of mugs. Here's another bin of mugs. Here's another bin of mugs. 
Copper arrows. Arrow. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Be nice if they stacked. Holy. Arrow. Willow bolts we'll get rid of. Oh, look at those. Nice, nice bolts. They are worth a bunch, too. We have all the gems. Uh, looks like they are cut. The vast majority. I haven't seen actually any uncut. More mugs. And anything else here? Yes. Worn out clothing. Worn out clothing. Good, good, good. I like getting rid of the old crap. Those are bolts. These are arrows. Those are crap. That's crap. And these, they were paying us a good price for. So we'll put them in. That is 15,000 in profit. Let's just start going down here. That's worth a thousand, is it? Two thousand? Wow. Two thousand for a hurdy gurdy? Ugh. They decided to bring some expensive instruments. I think we'll make our own marimba. A llama? Why is it a thousand? It's a freaking llama for crying out loud. What is going on? I think we're getting ripped off here. A thousand just for the cage. Okay. Male alpaca, female alpaca, male llama, female llama. We'll take all of that. We'll take a steel crossbow. That's another thousand. Screw that. Cave reed dye, gypsum plaster. We don't need gypsum pl plaster. We have tons of gypsum. Flux fungus spawn. Thousand bucks for cloth. Why? See, we can just take the cloth for way less than a thousand. It's the bins they're charging so much for. Okay, that's better. Leather for a hundred. Right, forty. 70, 140, 170, 210, 240, 270, 310, 370, as opposed to a thousand. I think our merchant's not very good. He's like overestimating by huge amounts. That could be it. Okay, there's still 4,000 left. It's still green. What else can we take then? Oh, I apologize for that. I'll turn off that. There we go. Uh, a couple of shields. We got that steel crossbow. Maybe we take an extra female. Wow, he doesn't actually want that much profit. But it's, it's probably because we're overpaying so much. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I think I'm okay with that as long as he takes it. He didn't. Oh, no, he did. He seems ecstatic with the trading. Okay. Okay. I missed a couple of things. Yeah, missed that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, those ones, I think I'm just going to... Offer his gift? No, you can't. Why? Okay. Are you giving me those? Do you wish to trade or make an offer to our leader? Well, it's... It's not letting me... Just give them to him. 
My word. Okay. Forget about it. Goodbye. Yes. No longer needed. But I mean, that's a lot of wealth. We just traded. 14,000. I'm not... Ooh. Tessalines, us, we, play cities, and the surrounding lands have been made a barony. Wonderful. That's great. Eventually, we'll rule the whole kingdom. <laughs> I mean, it is entirely possible. Okay, is this all mined out? This is all mined out. Move that. I don't need to put down those, but we will put down some grates here. Not furniture, constructions, floor grates. There we go, floor grates there. We're going to have to dig out areas here. Hopefully not kill anybody in the process. And carry on. Okay. Construction. Floor grates. I think we're going to need to build more. Maybe I'll just go ahead and make a one-time job for rock grates. And we'll make... Uh, whoops. 24, because we're going to need a lot. We're going to need eight on every level I choose to put grates on, so. It's a lot. Construction, floor grates. It's going to take a while. I have a feeling I'm going to... Well, you know what I'll do? Because I don't want to bore you guys with that. I'll pause. All right, I've been going through and making uh, making necessary changes. I uh, thought I'd give you a little update on the hematite. We have a lot of it mined out. And I like that a lot. Because hematite is iron, and iron is steel, and steel is pretty great, really. Pretty great. I think we'll open that up so they don't have to go so crazy far to get around. And we're going to have to continue our exploration down here for more hematite veins. So we'll queue that up. The hillux of Lance Anguish, nearly a day's travel to the west, looks to your thriving economy for its future prosperity has been incorporated into your holdings. What? Hillux of Lang Lance Anguish, nearly a day's travel to the west. It's been incorporated into your holdings. So that's our barony? Can we, can we look at that? So we're we're here. So nearly a day to the west. Oh, that's the hillocks of Lance Anguish. Okay. Population around 60. Civilization, the blowing flag, economically linked to us. I don't know what that does at all, but it's a nice compliment, isn't it? Sure it is. All right. Carry on, carrying on. So you can see I've queued up the digging actions here and still leaving a path. I decided we need more room around all of these, so that's going to happen as well. I don't know what priority I have on that. Oh, it's at one, so it'll be the first stuff done. Meanwhile, up here... Oh, this is all pretty much done. Not quite 100%. Oh, I don't think they're going to do that without me putting in a floor. Bluer. 
Why do I have those there? That must have been an accident. A mistake, if you will. Construction floor. There we go. Put the wall there. That should allow access to the rest of it. Did we do floor there? There we go. And then I don't know what I'm going to do up here yet. Open space, open space. It's hard to tell what's what. remove those. Merchants will be leaving soon. Human pikemen visiting. We killed a sow and a piglet. Yep, that. We got praise. And cool. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back into Auto Butcher. Gui Auto Butcher. And I'm not sure we need to keep 24 female kids uh, maybe we do let's have a look at our leather stocks do we have just leather is it fabric is it all in bins gosh okay never mind i, I think i'm gonna leave it be because i don't know how much leather we have fair enough we didn't get uh any any people coming in the last couple seasons, I think. I'm hoping we get a migrant wave this uh, this season. Mandated the construction of certain goods. Make hoods, too. Export of crutches prohibited. Make hoods. Alright. Make leather hood. Let's just make a dozen of them. Why not? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Eradicating monsters. Nope. Go away. We have enough. Masterpiece cave spider silk robe. Very nice. Someone's going to enjoy that a lot. Let's smoke their pipe while they're at it. Uh, you know, Hef style. Hey, is that the migrant wave I wanted? It sure is. We were at 80 or 81. Uh, also, I keep forgetting to let out the animals that we traded for. Maybe they have been let out. Let's go down here. Goslings. Wow, look at all the goslings. Nope, there's llamas, alpacas, and all the poults. Now that we've... Um, Butchered the overflow. No cat, no dog. Wild boar sow, we caught it. Remember I put those cages? I put those cages here? Or the, uh, the traps? Trying to catch that sow? Yeah, that worked out. Ah, uh, that makes me a little happy. Um, oh, I was gonna let it out, though. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Go up here. Where were you? Somewhere near the Pults. No, we want to train it. So we go into here, Pets Livestock, and look for, look for, for the cage? No? Sadly, it's, it's the last one of its kind, so it's not like we're going to be able to breed it, but I kind of just just want to train it up for our own reasons. Others? Wild boar sow, caged. Um, we could give it hunting training. War training. We'll just assign a trainer. How about... Sure. Um, maybe one of the... One of these people. How about you? The, the Noel... Bowman. 
You're hired. You. Go train it. Alright, more floor grates. Cancel that one. Uh, they dug that in all pretty quickly. Except for up here. <laughs> okay. Machines lever. We'll put the lever lever right in the middle. Do those walls. Do these doors. And that'll get dug out eventually. I should um I should economize. Hold on. Pause. Like here, we could just remove the grate. Here we're gonna have grates, so we'll leave it. Here we can remove the grate. Move the grate. We'll just remove the central one every you know, five or six. However many I randomly see, and here we'll just add more. Because dwarves can can survive really without much problem at all, falling down a few floors. So if it comes to that, they will they will be able to survive. Eventually we'll have this perfected. Now let's see if this whole structure will fall out. I hope this doesn't fall. Gonna take a minute probably for that to happen, so... Wow, that's so many animals. This is probably why our simulation is slowed down. That is a bit of a worry, is maybe we do have just too many random animals. Um... Yeah, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Yeah, it looks like the middle one fell out. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, the middle one fell out. So, so much for it being a safe thing to do. How do you, how do you make that safe? I guess you don't. We'll wait till that one's in. No, it won't let us... Surrounded by empty space, but you're not. Connect it to there. Whoa, who's fighting? Something has collapsed on the surface. Oh, okay. Is it because I took that out? Open space. Open space. Okay, so that... These staircases, uh, it, it can be helpful sometimes to go into settings here, and I believe it's in game, and somewhere down here, maximum, nope, that's not it, embark dimension, nope, maximum, uh, or number of lower elevation layers to show, you can turn that down to zero, and that will show you only what is on the layer you're looking at, so... That has a stairway up, but yeah, I, I want the tower to be central, so I've removed those. So we'll put floor over top. Oops. Like so. And then here we'll build constructions, stairs, and I'm just going to go down up, up. And that should be enough, more than enough, really. We'll see how that goes. So it, it gets pretty stark looking at it this way. I don't like how this looks. It, it looks off to me. Let's put those two back in there. Maybe maybe my brain will, will like it more. Yeah, something like that. So it shows us in, in a lot better detail what's going on. Um, oh, golly. I'm going to have to go around and fix all of these now. So, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a floor on the back there. And we'll leave the rest of that. 
as the waterfall. We could even fill in that, but I mean, I, yeah, we'll just do the back one. I don't even need those. Anyways, I'll work on that between episodes because that's going to be a little tedious. And uh, I really wanted to get on to making the tavern, um, but it's going to it's just going to have to wait until I'm perfectly happy, I guess, with this waterfall. It, it's worth it for the moods, but maybe a tavern is also worth it for the moods because it's a place to go and have some drinks with friends, right? Have some music where we're, we're going to put it over here and eventually we're going to wall off all around here. Uh, include some fruit trees and some some extra space up top. That's that's my uh, longer term goal for this fortress, as well as having a B tower up here that so we can make all the mead we could ever want. Anyways, that's it for this moment. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the support, and we'll see you next time. All right. Cheers. Bye bye.